What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord, and I just want to do a quick video to all the Galaxy Tab uh, 7.0 Plus users. Uh, there is a pretty cool ROM that you can download, and it is the CM10.1. So this is the latest version of Jelly Bean, uh, 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. So I just want to kind of show it off, and uh, I'm not really going to go through a step-by-step -step install, but if you have Clockwork Mod, you can just you know, go ahead and install it that way. But, uh, pretty cool is it has the lock screen. The lock screen now has shortcuts, so you can, uh, put widgets right from the lock screen. And, uh, knowing this is CM10, you can also have your different shortcuts. So you can do your different shortcuts. I only have five at the moment. You can have up to eight shortcuts. And, I am running a theme on this. This is the Sony Xperia theme. Xperia theme. So if you're wondering why it looks a little bit different, when you get it out the box, it's not gonna. When you download CM10, it's not gonna look like this. But this is a free theme. But um, see everything is smooth. Landscape and horizontal works in both. Pretty cool. You do have your your quick toggles. So you have your toggles here, and you can also have your toggles on this one. Do you have options to different shortcuts, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and you can actually customize those. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the thing about this uh, CM10 is it is uh, very smooth. This is uh, CM10.1. I'm sorry. It's very smooth. Um, there's pretty much no lag. There's no stutter. I mean, the whole ROM is pretty smooth. Um, only issues that uh, some people might not be able to live without is Bluetooth. Bluetooth does not work on CM10.1. And from what the developers are saying, it probably never will. Um, there's a big issue with the way the Galaxy Tab uses Bluetooth and then the way it's in Jelly Bean. So, I mean, if some smart developer comes up with, with a fix, I mean, that'll be cool. But for right now, you're going to have to live without Bluetooth. Um, some people were reporting that uh, calling on the 3G tablets don't, uh, it's kind of wonky. Um, this is the Wi-Fi only, so I don't have any issues. I use Groove IP. Groove IP works just fine. So I still make phone calls, still use Google Voice to uh, do text messaging, listen to voicemails. So everything works great. Um, you do have a cool clock app. I'm going to show you the clock app. This is awesome because you can swipe between your timer, you have the clock, um, you have your alarms. So there's lots of options here. So this is an awesome clock application. Um, also, the camera works pretty good. Take a quick picture. So the camera seems to focus and take really good pictures. So they eked out all of the everything that they could with this camera because this camera used to be painfully slow. So it actually takes pictures fast. And the quality of the camera seems to be pretty uh, pretty good. So um, there is no photosphere as. Um, if you're wondering about that, um, again, just you get your basic CM10 apps. Everything just basic Google apps. Everything run. Everything just is just working, except for the Bluetooth. Um, I don't have any issues. It's just very smooth. I don't know if you notice. There's no lag anywhere. Everything just works. Log on. I mean. Rotation is still a little bit slow, but that's pretty much the only only downfall to the ROM so far. Um, again, it's Google Play Music. I use Google Play Music. Um, it's themed right now because I'm using a different theme. 
Also, um, I don't know if it's necessary that it's the theme makers or maybe it's because it's the new jelly bean, but um, the ROMs, I mean, the themes seem to theme more than just, you know, usually before the, the theme chooser seem a little limited to what people can theme. But in some, in some cases, entire apps can be inverted and themed right from the theme chooser. So if you like inverted apps, if you like apps that make it look totally different, definitely go with CM10. Um, this is 10.1. Again, I don't have any issues with it. Battery life has been pretty good. Um, while you're using it, battery life is great. It seemed like it lasts just the same as the day before. Standby, on, an, on another note, it standby seems to uh, not last as long. So if you're the type of person that, you know, maybe use a tablet for an hour or two and put it down, come back three, four days later, pick it up. Um, you might you have to charge it in between there, because, you know, if I if I charge it a hundred percent and let's say I put it down on use it for two or three days, I mean it's on like low battery. So standby time. I mean, be, before when I was on honeycomb way back in the day, I could I could uh, leave it on standby for weeks. And I could leave standby for like a whole week and it wouldn't drain. So. But besides that, everything is great. Everything is smooth. You have any questions about this ROM? Um, go ahead and shoot me a message. Um, leave a comment below. Um, I'm not really gonna go step by step on how to install it, but you know, I mean, if you if you're comfortable with installing ROMs in general, then it's your basic install. I came straight from Paranoid Android, straight to here without wiping. I did not do a wipe. All I did was wipe Dalvi Cache and. Um, cache partition I did not do a factory data reset so if you're on if you're on another um, like like a CM 10 or CM or either a paranoid Android or one of those ROMs you shouldn't have to be you shouldn't have to do a factory reset I mean if for some reason you're getting a boot loop or something doesn't go right then you can uh, always get back to your recovery and once you're in your recovery, then you could just go ahead and wipe it and do it that way. So if you have any questions, uh, shoot a comment below. Second accord. I'm out.